Welcome to lesson six of using gizmos for visual debugging in Unity. In this final lesson, what we're going to cover is how to get these arbitrary positions, these vector values over here that are moving our line for us, okay? How do we get those to actually be calculated relative to the actual object's position, right? Because I can move this object around, and that could get pretty hairy if some object's all the way over here, and the actual vector values that I'm using for these particular variables um, are all the way on the other side of the screen. So it doesn't really relate that well. So what we want to do is we actually want to utilize the gizmo.matrix, okay? And we want to transform or make these positions over here, these position A and position B, actually relative to the position of this object. So it's local or world coordinate system. So that way, <coughs> excuse me, that way when I go up one unit, it's actually going up one unit from the actual object's position. So that's the start position. And we'll go up one unit from that instead of it being relative to the world. So how do we do that? So what we need to do is come over into our script over here. All right. And to start this off, what we should do is we should copy off the current matrix at the very beginning of our on draw gizmos function over here. We should copy off that initial matrix because the the um, the gizmos start out with a local matrix basically so when you say transform dot position basically what happens is it's saying okay well I have I know where that is and so it's using this particular matrix and that's the default and so what we need to do is just assign that the starting matrix so old make or old sorry I should call this old matrix equals gizmos.matrix, okay? So let me give me give myself a comment like that. All right, so then down where our line starts, okay, what we need to do is we need to make this relative to the object. So what I have to do now is actually reset the gizmo.matrix to be equal to transform.local to world matrix. And that transforms the position that we're using in those vectors so that the vectors start whenever you declare 0, 0, 0, or vector 3.0. Those spheres that we're drawing for those two positions, right, will actually start at the current transforms position or the object's current position. So the object could be 10 units off in X and 5 units up in Y. That, by doing this transform local to, to uh, world matrix, basically says that offset is now zero and these guys are going to be drawn at that zero position okay so instead of using transform position we would use something like vector 3.0 and that would be the center all right so once we do that let's go and take a look and see what we get okay so we're all good all right so you notice now all these spheres are now centered to 0, 0, 0, or at least if their values are 0 on these particular objects, or I haven't actually moved them. The 0 position is now wherever the position is in world space. And if we were to go up on this particular object one unit, that's one unit away from that particular object. All right, and go down one unit, or relatively one unit. You can see now it is relative to the object's position, all right, and its rotation. So this is really useful um, because you want to make sure that when you're developing controllers, you're working in the relative space of the current current object. That way, you don't have to constantly be calculating world space positions. All right. So that's how that works. Let's actually click on this guy over here, and we'll zero it out, and you'll see that if I do full vector 3.0, that is the center of the object. So we're going to do 1 and negative x, I mean 1 and x and negative 1 and x. And there you go. And that basically is how you do that. So if I move this around or I rotate it, we get a bunch of information about the object itself. And these positions are calculated relative to the current object's position. Alright, and that's how you use um, the GUI.matrix. Um, as good practice, it's always a good idea to 
once you've changed the matrix and you've done all the operations that you want on, on the particular gizmos that you want to actually calculate relative to object's position, you should then reset it back to the old matrix. So then we say gizmos dot matrix equals old matrix. And now everything from this point on will be calculated using the local positions. Okay. That is lesson six there and the conclusion of using gizmos for visual debugging in Unity. Thanks so much.